Howdy everyone, it's Sam. I hope you're doing really well. If you're new around here, I hope I can get you to consider liking the content and subscribing to the channel. And if you are a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. Two rounds down in the NRLW season for 2022, and I am six from six. Let's hope I can keep the ball rolling. Let's get into round three. Round three of the 2022 NRLW season kicks off on Friday night from the brand spanking new Allianz Stadium at 5.40 p.m. It's the Sydney Roosters versus the St. George Warrior Dragons in the grand final rematch. Sportsbet.com.au have the Roosters $1.69 to the Dragons $2.18 outsiders. Both of these sides are unchanged from last week. And the last time that these two sides met, obviously the grand final this year, uh, some stats that you know, sort of like don't co-align with what the result was. The Roosters completed uh, at 65% thereabouts and the Dragons completed at approximately 85%. But the Dragons missed 37 tackles in that game to the Roosters approximately 15. And it was the Roosters that walked away with the victory. So the Roosters, uh, they got the win against the Broncos last week up at Suncorp, that's no mean feat, and they kept the Broncos to eight. Their defense is what won them the grand final earlier this season. Uh, the Dragons last week themselves had, had a torrid time against the Parramatta Eels, and I thought they'd have it a little bit easier than that. I thought they'd probably win 13 plus, but they didn't, but they still walked away with the victory. Nonetheless, uh, some battles that I'm really looking forward to, in particularly the left edge of the Dragons or the right uh, attacking edge of the Roosters. Jessica Sergis is going to come up against Tegan Berry. That's massive. You've also got what I'm really looking forward to most uh, is Olivia Koenig of the Roosters versus Kezi Apps, a second row battle to save a man. Um, I'm such a fan of Olivia Koenig and Kezi Apps is the New South Wales captain. So it's going to be a massive contest. And again, this is the first ever rugby league game to happen at Allianz Stadium. It's a massive honor for these ladies. Uh, it's well-deserved. I think I am going, oh, I'm gonna go for the Sydney Roosters. I just think it's gonna be a red, blue and white night at uh, Allianz Stadium, uh, both in the men's and the women's division. I think the Dragons have the better Ford pack. Roosters have the better back line. Uh, it's going to be super close. I think this is going to be a brilliant game. And once more, I'm going to be in attendance for this contest. Uh, but I'm going to tip the Sydney Roosters to win this one in a beauty 1-12. to Game number two of round three in the NRLW season takes place at 1.10 p.m. on Saturday afternoon from Morton Daly Stadium in Redcliffe. The Brisbane Broncos host the Gold Coast Titans and the Broncos are $1.63 favourites to the Gold Coast Titans $2.28 outsiders and for the Brisbane Broncos they've started their season zero and two they are in uncharted territory therefore the coach he's made some changes uh, starting first of all Jamie Chapman uh, she is now playing in the centers uh, instead of playing fullback Hayley Maddock is the lady that comes into the fullback role uh, then the uh, back line reads Taryn Aiken, Ali Brigginshaw is the halves uh, and uh, Julia Robinson and Tungai are the wingers and then the forward pack is Sophie Holliman, Chelsea Lenarduzzi, and Lavinia Gould as the hooker. And the back row reads Fogafini, she comes back in. Amber Hall and Talisha Harden is at lock. And then the interchange for the Brisbane Broncos is Jada Ferguson, Hannah Larson, Sarah Sautia, and Brianna Clark in Jersey 17. Um, there has been one change for the Gold Coast Titans. Tasman Gray finally, finally comes back into the fold uh, for the Gold Coast Titans after missing out through injury over the uh, first couple of weeks of the season. Uh, so she starts in Jersey number 12 and making way for her was Zara Zara Canfield, who is suspended for a high shot on Tamika Upton last week. Um, the Gold Coast Titans just simply could not hold on to that pill last weekend. Um, same could be said for the Brisbane Broncos, just but defensively was the bigger concern. Uh, the Broncos have to get on the board in this game. They 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 just have to. Um, 
I'm going to tip them to win this one 1-12. One to 12. The Titans, they still had some really, when they hold, held on to the ball, the Titans had some really good uh, structured plays in them, uh, some good attacking uh, plays, but I just think this is absolutely crucial for the Brisbane Broncos for sure. Uh, so Brisbane to win this one 13+. Uh, plus. The final game of round three 2022 NRLW season is from McDonald Jones Stadium at midday on Sunday afternoon. The Knights are hosting the Eels and the Knights are $1.45 favorites to the Parramatta Eels, $2.76 outsiders. And both these teams are unchanged from last week. Uh, the Eels had a great account of themselves. Uh, they just dropped the pill a bit too many times, um, but it, terrific contest. A really, really good contest against the Dragons. And the Newcastle Knights, man, but believe the hype um, if you haven't already. The, the Knights are here to make some damage, cause some chaos this season. Tamika Upton ran for over 230, 240 meters last weekend. She was absolutely enormous. And then Gold Star, North Queensland Gold Star dummy half Emma Manselman, when she came on, Oh, man, she does. And gee whiz, I hope she signs up for the North Queensland Cowboys next year. She is so good. Um, the Newcastle Knights will win this contest. Uh, 13 plus, I reckon. Um, not an extravagant one. I can see the Paramount Eels scoring a try or two. Um, but I think the scoreline will be 24 points to 12 or something to that effect in way of the Newcastle Knights. Yo, that's it for me this week. Thank you very much for tuning in once more. It's been a great season around RLW action and we've got really, really good games to look forward to and particularly this grand final rematch happening on Friday afternoon. Uh, so thank you all again for the continuing support and I'll talk to you guys in the next couple of days. Adios.